Oh, this is a tunnel place. Final Fantasy 1. We are halfway through the, the Whispering Cove. We are on floor number 20. We have beaten Orthros. And it's time to go to the second half of the Whispering Cove. This is floor 21. And we go back to what seems to be a cave again. Yep, there's some of these caves here too. Nothing too problematic though. So this place can be a bit of a long draft to go through, but let us just venture through. Blood Tiger, that's a new enemy. Still has weak though. XP. Looks cool, but it's just as weak and pathetic as the one. Maybe the thing is that maybe the lower it's gonna get to give the more dangerous they are. Go to his room. Nothing here. That's too bad. Knocker! We're getting some new enemies here. They still hit kind of weak though, but... Oh, they actually survive a hit from the wizards. But I can't take the knight and the warrior though. And down we go. Oh, high potion. Nothing more to do here. No chest here. Let us just continue. The exit should be around here to the top. Yellow dragon. We haven't fought this since we were in the Dark Mahabit Cave in the Live Spring Grotto. I gave some good XP and some money, but that money is just useless because we don't have any need for the money. Just go down here to get some access to some of these chests. More knockers. We're glad is to be facing enemies here. These are kind of wimpy. I love for Danny. That's good. Three blood tigers. They hit for two. And one of them just says, screw you guys. I'm just gonna fight you. I'm just gonna tail my tail my tail away and just run away. So drop. Should know the chest on the bottom right here. Let's go and check it out. Here and here is chest and more random enemy. Two blood tigers. Let's take one. Go. Okay, move on. Giant stomach. Not too bad. A yellow dragon. At least they give some good XP, but they still get one shot by the knight. So we're done with the treasures here, let's just go to the exit. More blood tigers. One says screw you guys, the other one can't run away in time. The knight just says, ah oh, thank you, I'll take you out. Up here, and the exit should be here. Door number 22. Ah, oh, sound like this. This is a cozy sound. We're playing hide and seek. There's this one key I can't find anywhere. Yes, this is an interesting town. We are what we call hide and seek minigame. I know. You should help me look. If you find it for me, I'll tell you something real important. You guys need to know what that looks like, huh? Let's see. It's a kid with blue hair. Come let me know when you find him. Blue hair kid. This guy maybe? What is this place? Oh, what is it playing with? Yeah, so this is um, kind of cool. We need to find this kid. So we need to find out where this is, but you see, there's a dozen of children here. And there are locked doors on this place. So go to this another place where you can find these kids. To find a blue haired kid. Talk to all the ones as well if you can talk. <laughs> I 
This kid's having fun. They're just walking around. They need to find that one kid that is blue haired and is running around here somewhere. <laughs> Someone doesn't even know how an ace beats a king. Well, that's just the rules of cards. Black haired one. Black haired kid, and you found this one here. She was the blue haired one. So the search continues. And this is a place is called Toy Town, but the kids has been fooled, that's just too bad. We haven't found a kid yet, so we just need to keep on looking. What should we say? Blue hair. Now it can be random. Sometimes she wants to have a kid with red hair, sometimes she wants a kid with black hair, or sometimes she wants a kid with like yellow hair. Just go through these doors to find the kid we're looking for. Let's see, where can this kid be? Quite a maze. I'm just like going in circles now, I think. Yeah, and this is in circles. Let's just go back through the store again. Hey, you! Stop! No, this not him. Where can he be? Oh, here we have him. What? You're it? Sucks, you found me! Alright, so now we found the kid. He's the blue-haired kid. Now we have to go back and tell that other kid that we found the, the, kid, the boy that we were looking for. Now then, of course, how do we get back? This is quite a maze. Uh, quite annoying place, for sure. That's the black kid. Oh, I think we know. There we are. Really? He was hiding there? Thanks! Oh, here's a stairway over there in the corner. You can use it if you want to. And that's the, mi the whole minigame. Find the kid with the color that she asked for. And then she will give up a exit, so we can continue to the next floor. And from that little cosy place, we go to another of these caves. Now this cave, I think it's more of a maze than we had the other one. Let's see, the exit should be on the top, but I want to go for some treasures. Oh, blood tigers. Never mind. So much for that blood tiger. At least I get a single XP from it. That's better than nothing. No chest here. Poison Eagle. New enemy. Probably don't like the lightning. This one is a bit harder. Still go down in a single hit though. Let's just keep on slashing him. And Dara. I think it is them. Pretty good XP as well. Or at least decent XP. Let me go again. This time we face five of them. This is one doesn't want to run away. That's a good thing. A fight. Slashing and slashing and slashing. The white wizard, black witch is always a slow. Actually, the white wizard was always terrible, but oh well. No chest here. This is so weird. There should be a chest here, but I guess this chest only spawns if you have this floor as one of the last ones. 
more of these poison eagles. We faced like 20 of them or something already. This is uh, quite a lot. Oh, we'll take him out. Look at that. Every one of them is like slower than all these poison eagles. We are over slower there actually. It's, uh, saying something. There's seven and we're four and all seven of them are faster. Lara, not take care of someone. Let's just continue our road here. Or we're gonna fight a yellow dragon. It is something different, it's nice. But nothing to worry about. Not just here either. Man. Let's just go for Exodus. Let's just go back to the yeah, spot here. Head straight north to the exit. Let's see, this Protagor wants to fight. No, he doesn't get to. And just says, I'm gonna get revenge. And we got it. And the exit is here. So, Brian missed two. Black Tiger. Blood Tiger. And two of them ran away, and the third one was like, Where are you guys going? Ah, I'm getting beaten up! Floor 24, next, and now we're back into one of these desertish caves. I think I know what we can do here. Let's just see. Ah, oh, we're here. Okay, then we need to go down to go to the chests. Yellow dragon. This is kind of the same floor though. This is like a more desert place, and the other one is rocky. And I still get the same background. I guess they're a bit slacky in the backgrounds here. At least these eagles don't want to fight. At least wants to fight, so that's a good thing for us. More of these birds. No dragon. A dragon submarine, or whatever you can say it is. Mine plus. It's a good thing to have. Beat him and we win. Let's continue. Knockers. Knockers, suckers. We can make it continue. The uh, exit to this place is in the north, but we're gonna go to the chest we see on the left here. Just flee from these ones because I don't want to fight them. Not like they're hard, but nah, I don't want to waste time. Now dragon is more cool to fight because they're easy to kill and they give a lot more XP than the other ones. Can't hold them anymore of these items, that's just too bad. Hold them, let us just exit this place. After some more poison eagles appear and say, You're not gonna escape, you're gonna play with us. And I say, Okay, you want to play? Let's play. You lead. We follow. Lizara. That's nice. Now we are on floor 25, which will be the final floor of this part. Before we go on for our next place, let's see this floor. Is this the maze one? Yeah, this is the maze one. Go through a bit of hair to go through. Oh, black hobbits and mockers. Yes, they are starting to mix up a bit. That one is in faster than the others, that's pretty cool. And that one runs away. Blocks the attack. 
that single black gold in his belly. Get some cold in his belly. Out he goes. Potion and a high potion. Put behind like that as well, so no big. And Regis times two. Next in this place is in the far right, so we can just go right away. We'll just go to the chest. Let's just check the chest up in here before we get this part. Should be a room to the right here. Enter it, we need to go around this place. We need to go around the other place. Four yellow ogres. Let's see if they can be surviving the hits from our wizards too. Not the weapon, of course, because of that super good weapon called Masamuni. No, I doesn't even want to take on the staff from the wizard. Oh, it goes. No chest here. Too bad. We can just go all the way around and we can go back to the middle of this room and we can progress further. Let's just go down here first and get some chests. Just looking at the bottom here. Oh, well, that's a kind of cool formation. The enemy as well, the Dark Wolf. Let's just give him a little uh, cold surprise. The what he just says, I'm in charge here. Yeah, hit that black cop. Hit that cop. Good. Need the cold. And you don't like it. XP and we get another level up for the white wizard. She's level 80 now. She's almost maxed out in health, which is pretty cool. No chest here either. Not here either. Man, this is really annoying. Oh well, I just just head back and go to the exit of this room and call this part. But of course, we have battles with our elemental. They have been a bit hard. RNG in terms of when you face them, like sometimes you face two of them, sometimes you just want to face one for a second part. The left for the knight is now an ET as well. Another yellow ogres. They are yellow maybe because they are like uh, puny or something. So I think they are pretty weak. Remember the first ogre we faced in Final Fantasy 1? Uh, how hard it hit? It almost hit you for over half of your health. Maybe you were a bit unleveled there, and also leveling is so important for the start because you just gain some more stats. Like your knight, like your uh, warrior, you can go from uh, like a triple amount of HP in just a few levels. It's a bit ridiculous, but that's just how weak level 1 is compared to level 2, 3, and 4, and 5. It's just so big of a boost. Go down here. Goblins times two. Let's smack with a staff, Mr. Black Wizard. Tell him how it's done. And here we are on the last space. And that's gonna be it for this part. We are on floor 25. Next time we're gonna go to floor 26, 27, 28, 29, and floor number 30. Then we'll fight the third of the four bosses from Final Fantasy VI inside the Whisperwind Cup. If you have any feedback on my Let's Play or want to discuss this game, leave a comment below this video. If you want to be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.